Okay, so we are um, trapped in here, and uh, let's see. Huh. Place red wool? Okay. Place blue wool. <gasps> wow. Okay, guys, so, um, yeah, so this is a quick little thing. Now, this is a new story, uh, sorry, series that I'm going to be starting, and it is going to you know, occur randomly, videos will be posted, but anyways, this is the redstone to the th uh, thing that you just uh, saw, so I'm not th too good with redstone, but as I do more of it, I learn more, okay, so this was made 100% by me, and it's actually uh, made in a map, this is where I got the idea from to do this series, because in a map that we're working on, that I will not tell you guys the name of, but you will know soon, uh, we have to do redstone that's similar to this, so I thought it would be cool to show you guys how this works. So now, you can use this in many different ways, okay? So there's actually many different components to this piece, but it's really simple if you think about it, okay? So, what you want to do is you want to start off, you know, just by making a simple room, okay? Which, like I did. Okay, let's make it over here so we know that we have enough room. This is my new redstone map, by the way, that we'll just be doing this redstone series on. So you want to have it eh, at least too high, and go, you know a decent amount of blocks, okay? So we'll make it three high, just so there's enough room, then, you know, the roof would be four. So before we put that in, let's go ahead and um, work on the actual door opening mechanism. Now this is a door that, you know, it looks like a normal wall at first glance, and then it goes and pulls through. As you can see, you know, it does. If we get rid of those, it closes back up, and it just looks normal, okay? So let me show you how this works. So, it's very easy to build. Um, I found you just need uh, all the stuff in my in inventory is all you need to build that entire system over there. So to do this, you need uh, two pistons, sticky pistons, if you want it to be able to reset. To place them like that, then place two sideways, and then two like this, okay? Then two, sp two uh, spots away, you need to do the same thing, just a mirrored image. Now here you can use whatever block you want, whether it be stone, anything, just not obsidian or bedrock because it can't move that or chests or anything, but you know, just whatever block, but I chose uh, sandstone. You'll see why when I release that map. So you just put it in that section in the corner, okay? Then you'll build your door frame, or you, yeah, like your door frame thing. Have that, again, as high or as long as you want. And behind here, you just want to make a roof, okay? Now here, you just want to dig it back to the full length of the pistons, and then down, so it's three, so this one is, you know, a step down. At these corners, you want to put redstone torches, and then you want to put a line of redstone. Okay, let's just get rid of the pig, and it's going to run directly into the thing. Perfect. Okay, so anyways, from here, you want to get your redstone repeater and put it here, then go click it to all, uh, to click it three times to get to full notch. One, two, three, there you go, full notch. You take a piece of sandstone, sandstone or whatever block you choose, diagonal, like that, and then like that, okay? and exactly the same on the other side. Perfect. Okay, now you want to go ahead and put one piece of redstone there, one piece of redstone there, and just a normal repeater with no clicks. Same thing on the other side. Okay, now from here, uh, so you can see that part of the pistons are activated and some are not, so you want to build a thing across here to, to resolve that, just like that, and here's where you hear all the rest of the pistons, just go like that and that. Okay, so that does the rest of the pistons. Now in order for, you can see that this there's two blocks missing. In order to solve that, what you want to do is you want to... Okay, sorry about that. So um, what you want to do is you want to go uh, right here on the side with the torch and everything, and you want to break a block right there. You can see where the redstone is right there, and just put you know a single button and press that. And as you can see, it just basically uh, fixed it. So now it's a flat wall instead of those two bottom pieces missing. It just needed to you know run for a second in order to you know just fix itself. Now you can get rid of that and you know just put some grass back or whatever block you want because you won't be needing that. You can leave that button there if you want to, but I'll show you a better way. Okay. So now we need to uh, build the rest of the walls. So this is actually all done. This door right here, that's it's all finished. Um, now you just need to work on a little extra section. Okay. 
So let's just go like this. We'll have it so the door is in the exact middle. So let's see how many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then one second. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep. There. Exact. That's the corner. One too far. Okay, now you need to work on the actual placement where you put in the wool. Okay, this is again extremely easy. Let me let me just over here show you basically what it is. Okay, basically what it is is just this. Okay, um, put a torch there. Put that on top, and like that. You see, without this block, it doesn't. Is it's not activated, but since the torch is below it and the blocks on top of it, it activates the redstone. Okay, so that's basically what it is. Um, it's very easy to do, and um, <coughs> sorry, uh, and it's really easy and very compact. Okay, so what you can do is you can put that right there, put that single hole, and then from here you can go ahead and oh, Big A wants to see it through the window, so we shall kill him. Okay, so this goes around like this, and this is where the torch is going to go. Then you need your single block with your redstone. Now, I only you could just drain it right down here, but uh, so we want it so you cannot see past here, so we're going to just have that block there, and then it's going to come down and loop back around. Okay? So now, I, I could be showing you guys how to do the two one, but we'll just do the single one for now, just for the sake of time. Okay? So, you put it there, then you can also... Uh, choose to you know just cover it up to make sure you know that once when they're inside of here they cannot see you know past there and out and see that's like outside world or whatever so you can do that now now it's time to like uh, set it up with the um, actual door because as you can see just right now it works it lights up the redstone and everything uh, but you know it doesn't go anywhere so what you want to do is you want to see where your door is okay and dig down preferably to just so you know exactly where everything is and you want to find your redstone, okay? With that, you can just dig it over here. Then we want to dig under underground to the uh, other redstone and just join it up. So you can see that's right there. Now what you want to do is uh, connect this bit. We'll just go ahead and... Uh... Yep. I'm just, sorry, I'm just making sure that the uh, it's always placed correctly because you don't want to be placed in a different direction because then it won't work. But right here, this is where the red wool comes in. You could just could choose to do any block, but I like red wool just, you know, because it's clear and tells me what is going on, okay? So you want to bring that up here. Loop that around, bring it up here. Okay? Now you want to put a sticky piston, and then I use a gold block, you know, just to tell me that that's the one that's being activated. You want to bring this up here as well. But you want to bring it out a little bit. And we'll just go like that. My mistake, we have to go one lower. And then we just bring it out. Okay. Um, let me just make sure. My apologies, one lower than that as well. Um, so we'll just break it down here. Bring it across. Okay, so that's really as far as we need to go since there's only one. Okay, and... Um, so right there we need to break that block and actually just put a single torch like that and then put it like that put all the redstone you know and then you can even power this by having a single torch and break this here okay so as you can see when we push it or sorry when we put the block in it'll send a signal to push that piston so let's just put the red wool in it pushes the piston thus completing the circuit okay so basically it's like an on off switch Okay, then you can loop this around, whether it be you know, over, under, it can be a lot more compact than this, we're just choosing to bring it out a little bit. Um, so really, whatever you want, depending on how much space you have. So you just bring it over here, and then up here. Same thing over this way. So put one of those repeaters so we know that has enough redstone power and doesn't fade out. Put another one. There we go. 
and uh, we will, would want to put just one more, I believe. So that means that that goes there. And then turn that around. And as you can hear, the piston doors activate. So now you can just fill this in with these blocks. And you can make a roof or whatever you want to. Make a floor, make a roof. As you can see, this one is a lot wider and larger than this one right here. This one is a little bit more compact. Um, but this one is just bigger. So anyways, all you have to do is just... You have a seamless wall, and then you can go ahead and just put your block, any block in there, and it pulls out a door. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like the series or your new idea for the series, then go ahead and click a thumbs up, because I really think this is a good idea where I get to learn redstone, and you guys get to learn what I am learning. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.